Peggy 18. Welcome to Just Cause 4 and the return of Rico Rodriguez, a rogue agent on a mission that'll challenge everything and everyone he knows. Rico has arrived in the fictional South American country of Solis, the largest and most breathtaking world we've ever created. Every journey into Solis will uncover history, secrets, and danger. Never before has a Just Cause game offered greater variety, rich in all forms of life. At first glance, Solis is a beautiful location, but scratch the surface and you will uncover oppression, fear, and violence, all enforced by Gabriella, the leader of the private militia organization, the Black Hand. Just Cause 4 takes destruction and physics simulation to a whole new level with the introduction of extreme weather. Experience towering tornadoes that can tear trees from the ground and level bridges to sticks. Awesome forked lightning, unpredictable and deadly sandstorms, and roaring blizzards. Witness the spectacular destruction as they offer both a challenge to Rico, as well as creating fun opportunities for creative sandbox gameplay. Our vehicles have been totally overhauled with new additions that offer extra gameplay opportunities. Bulldozers, car transporters, cranes, and even wrecking balls are all fun in our world. We have new handling on bikes and cars, as well as exotic vehicles like jet skis and micro jets. Rico's grapple is now fully customizable and has been overhauled to make it more intuitive for newcomers while offering greater depth for a more experienced player. The grapple now has more tethers than ever before and the ability to deploy booster rockets in the all-new airlifters, making the grapple an incredibly powerful and creative tool. Meanwhile, a new story glues together our free-form, go-anywhere, do-anything gameplay that Just Cause is so famous for and the stakes for Rico have never been higher. <laughs> Combat in Just Cause 4 is better than ever. Enemies now present a far more intelligent threat to Rico. Each archetype comes with unique abilities, with AI designed to keep the player on their toes. So Lise is a deeply advanced systemic world everything you've seen from the incredible physicalized destruction to unparalleled draw distance is powered by the brand new best-in-class open world apex engine welcome to just cause 4. I was born to fight wars that no army could win. There was no fear, no failure. But the rules have changed. The enemy changed. And no one was ready for it. The Black Hand. They are the world's most powerful private army. But even they should fear what they've created. This is in a war, Rico. This is survival. Getting shot at? All the time.
we started this game thinking about what our player really wanted, and that's the sandbox. It's where uh, we, we are best in class. At any one moment, in any particular direction, the player can see something they haven't seen before and go to it and explore it. No matter how long you play this game, you're always going to see something new. So we have four biomes or regions in Just Cause 4, uh, but within each of those, there's between two to four different sub-biomes. The Black Hand are kind of an elite mercenary force that you've seen in previous Just Causes, but now you're on their home turf. Enemies that require the player to be aware of them. Guys that bring functions and dangers that are unique to them. I need to behave differently because this guy is on the field, because he's an elite soldier. You would definitely not be able to make this game without the Apex Engine. It's really about, okay, now we have this extra space to work. Now we have these, this extra muscle to kind of put behind our features. And we want to provide stunning landscapes, extreme weather simulation, enhanced physics, crazy gameplay opportunities. We put those things all together and we felt it was best for us to create something from scratch that you know, we have all our experience making. We did like to refer to Rico as a force of nature. What's the one thing that can go up against a force of nature? It's another force of nature. They will have uh, the tornadoes uh, and, and uh, sandstorm and blizzards and everything uh, right in their face. Taking that functionality around weather, the entire gameplay around it is something that I've dreamt of for over a decade. We all knew we wanted to bring back the badass. He is the strongest, most amazing action hero out there, but this time in Just Cause 4, he has met his match. We continually want to make Rico more human. Uh, he's not just a Terminator android. The embodiment of Rico is the Grapple Hook. It's hard to imagine one without the other at this point. So we brought back the boosters, we brought back the Retract, we added the airlifter. Uh, you can mess with the tension and the speed at which it retracts, or does it auto-retract? You can use this attachment in different combination, but then within each one of them, there are a set of variables of parameters uh, that you can uh, modulate. The more we could give to the players there, the more we were confident that they were going to come back with creative things we never even thought of. It was really important to us to make sure that we can have a lot for all of the most amazing experiences that you had in Just Cause 3, but amplified. And then the, the possibilities, the options, the creativity in the tool set, it's just there for the player. And the way we look at it is these are more toys in the sandbox. You can never have a sandbox with too many toys.